is going on today, guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here. Uh, I just thought I was going to do a deck profile on my guilty, uh, sorry, no, not guilty, crown, SAO, sort of online deck, seeing as uh, it has reached popularity in the, whatchamacallit, the US and everywhere in the English format since it has been released in English. Uh, I will, if you guys want me to, I could do one also on the Fade Zero which is coming out soon, very soon, for all of you Fate Zero fans out there, I could do one. It's just that I feel that the deck, the booster does not, the booster is great, but I just feel it does not offer all the cards that are needed for a really good Fate deck, because Fate Zero is just one of the many that were released, like Fate Stay Night is one of the good ones, Fates, like the Fate uh, EP Extra Booster, it's pretty good. You'd probably want to play those as well, if not with the Fade Zero cards, because usually the Fade Zero cards, there's not a lot, but I can make one that has just the Fade Zero cards, including the Trial deck inside. But anyways, on to the point at hand. Let's get into the deck profile. Uh, I have not... I am receiving cards in the mail now. Like, uh, I will be receiving stuff in the mail on the subject for the deck to be for its completion, but they are coming soon, so I just thought, hey, why don't just do it now instead of waiting? But I will show it to you guys back when it is completed. Same thing with my Guilty Crown. Which I have acquired a I as a blue from a, a fellow subscriber, uh, not fellow subscriber, fellow YouTuber, and uh, I don't uh, from Vancouver, Falk the Lo Falk the Locks, I think. Shout out to him. He uh, he helped me out, and he does help me, and he helped me with this one with this trade. He's a really cool guy. Uh, you should go visit his channel. It's pretty decent. Uh, although tell him that I sent you, cause uh, you know. Don't want to be giving out free shoutouts right now, so, you know, just tell them that. Uh, anyways, uh, the deck is as it is. I play four of these, so I'd probably play, I would play four Azunas, and then four Leafas, so four, four, eight. Uh, I might be ending up playing one Silica level three, but that was just, that's a decision for a later time, but I found that four is fine. Then for this one, Azuna, for level twos, we play one, and play two, climax combos. And then two of these, I am getting another one. So, uh, so yeah. So there's going to be, there is a lot of uh, boosting that happens in the deck with a lot of leaflets and everything. And these uh, changers. And then we play 11. That's where the one Celica went to, the 11 uh, level ones, because... I prefer having more level ones than level t than level threes because nine is kind of a little overkill and considering that the deck does search a lot, it is help. It's not really needed. So we play two, uh, six, five, one, one, as and as that ability. I have no clue remembering what it does, but oh yeah, when you use stock for the turn, not not just like stock for paying for a character. When you use actual stock for an effect or something, it activates in the gaze plus 1000. Then we play three uh, of the searching. Azunas with the climax combo. I put it down to three because four was way too much. I noticed that I was way too cloggy and that you don't really need that because its power is not great. Even at, with its maximum 1000 plus, it'd only be 5-5 five, five, and plus a booster 6-5. Not too great. You want to have something starting off at 5-5 five, five at least, or 6-5, and then going up. So instead, I opted to play 3 Elizabeth Changing. Uh, for one reason, it's hollow, it's cool, so it's kind of cool. And for second, it's also because uh, I do not... Now in Japan, they play... They prefer playing her, which is the 4-5. If she reverses the opponent, she gets to put a card marker on the, from the top of the deck under, so she gains plus 15, so that puts her at 6 and then, for after two turns, she'll become the high, a uh, high body, seven five, which is a lot better than the six five. But I prefer her since she just like her, just like the other Azuna is free. But on the other hand, you do not need card markers, and I usually have really bad luck with card markers. And I just prefer overall her because of this constant six five, rather than uh, a possible six, seven five or higher. But it requires you to Encore sometimes with the 3, which I noticed because I had to do this. I've tried this card out, 
and I encore, I had to encore quite a bit to get her to the high level. One time, although one time I did get to like 12 or something, it was quite funny against Matt. But anyways, moving on. Fifth round off, we play three, uh, one 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 zeros uh assist, so one one. Uh, this is a really good card, although I have to play three of it because unlike the other other builds played in Japan, we do not run the Azuna and Kirito build Kirito uh one zero combo. I'll tell you what that means in a second, but instead we run more boosters up here. So then, in the early game, this is more for the blocking, but the later game, you should be fine with just blocking with, like, simple ones, because you're going to be so powerful in the middle of the game, which is good. So, once again, some stuff are proxied. They're all coming through the mail. Don't, don't kill me, for it. Oh, yeah. Uh, there, somebody did ask, uh, what would you run differently sometimes? Because there's a different variation that you can play with the deck. You can play four Kiritos. This one is a booster. It's a 3k 1-0. It allows you, for all your Azunas, they gain plus 5,000. Uh, plus 5,000, yes. 500, I think. 500. 500. And then uh, on your opponent's turn or something, they gain also another plus 500. Every, uh, every character gets plus 500 as well. So that gives an extra plus 1,000 Azunas. And then on top of that, she is the Encore. Of the deck of the uh, entire set, pretty much. She's a discard hand discard encore, but she gains the ability when there's a Kirito on field, and she also gains plus one thousand, so that makes her with him. It makes her with him uh, seven thousand encore, which is really powerful, but it's sometimes inconsistent, seeing as you need to play enough Kiritos to have activate the effect. And just running four of these, and even if you run the maximum amount of like searchers and everything. It's still not consistent. I found that I preferred having just these cards instead since you have enough blockers. But if you were to play it, then you'd play probably four of these, four of that. Then you'd probably end up playing some of these. And of course the blockers, but the ratio would probably have to be... I've seen 14 level 1s because of the deck, and then, then usually you end up cutting the her or her down to one or you cut this entirely and then you usually deduct some from the level threes which i did not want to do because i want to have at least eight even though i do know that it's a searching deck that's another thing you probably wouldn't have to play the searcher because it gets too tight or you play the searcher and then you remove some of these so it'd probably be four and then you probably play uh i've seen a lot play like you can play between three and two and then you probably end up playing these cards as well but usually you just play these so like 3, 6, 14, right there. Or you play some of these, so it depends. But anyways, that's what I, That's what is also another possibility, because somebody did ask me about that and how uh, that would affect it. So yeah, that's... I hope that answered the question, because that's... And then moving on, I did change the zeros quite a bit, but there are 16 of them. There's two of these. So there's two Azuna lying in bed. Uh, across so across the sofa, so it's a three five body. So when it's put into play, check the top card. If it is a climax, then you put it into clock. If not, then you just put it back in the top, which is really good because early game it doesn't matter if you clock because you want that to happen. In second gate, secondly, it's a three five body. What more can you ask for? And then we play, of course. Three of the Azunas that give good boost power because it's just amazing and it makes all of your 1000 plus one climaxes into 2k's plus one, which is actually amazing. That's just great. Uh, I'll leave those up. Then we play three of these, three suiciders. I don't run four because I don't want to because I found that that's too much. But she has the ability to accelerate, so again, helping the combo with helping out with the idea of getting to your level one quicker and making her a 4k body, if I might. Yeah, 4k. And then we play two brainstorms, uh, rest two, and then, uh, if I'm right, it's search the deck or retrieve. I can't remember which one, it's either search the deck or retrieve. I'm pretty sure it's retrieve though for an avatar net. Then we go down to three. 
Kirito solo players, the 4k body plus one level character if you only have one or less Charas. I went down to, th to three because I found that if I have if I have this card in hand early, like at the beginning of the game or anything, I will play it, but then it prevents me from playing other cards, and I really don't sometimes enjoy that, even though it is part of hand advantage. You want to at least have two cards out on the field at all times. And then, to that's again, playing in the role of this Encore thing. Usually you'd have to end up playing four of these, and then you could play this as well as the other one, and you probably have to play Mac at least three of these, but I only play two because two is fine, even with only playing three of her. It gives you five searchers, and that's more than enough. Two is more than enough because you only need to see it like once or twice in the game, and then you're fine. And then you play... Oh, so oh wait, I forgot one card. Let me go get it. I forgot one of my elbows. And then you play one Leafa two zero just to help out with the color ratio of the thing. Color ratios is uh, important because you need to have enough. So that would probably make around five greens as it is. But then moving on now uh, to the events, we play two three five blocks because this is just powerful and three five is pretty decent and it's almost free. It's one one. It's uh, level one. Pretty pretty awesome. And then to round it off, we play climaxes. We play now. Here's what the thing. I'll I'll show you all the climaxes. So it's guaranteed to play four star splash because it's the climax combo for the Azuna searcher here, and also because it sends back and gives you a soul. But then the thing is, you can play either one more, one more of uh, the uh, whatever the gate or the salvage, or you can play one of these gold bars because. The idea is not that it ends up, the uh, the concept is that it will, it has worked quite a few times before, it's just that when you check it, you add it to your hand, and then you put it into clock. Now you don't usually end up playing it, but this is what, but the reason why you have it is so that you have this extra green, and that it's a guaranteed for next turn, say you have like the Leafa and you want to play it, but you don't have any green, you push this down here, and then you have a green. That's one way you can play it, or you can play an extra salvage. It's really up to you guys. You could probably play another... You could either, also either play another one of these so that you get six. Or the other option is to... Is to play... The event right here, it's a 2k, it's a 2-1 event, it gives a 3k and then some other stuff. You can search it up probably on a little Kiba or something, or a uh, Way Schwartz website. But it's a decent card, it's a... So it's a decent card, but I probably would not want... I was gonna run three event cards with her, but I did not like having three, so I just kept it to the simple as running this girl, but you can run another one of her instead of cutting that. But then you'd probably have to end up cutting these two or something, I don't know. I found that just having one is good, and then you could probably run just five greens. But just for just for testing, I have been running this extra one, and it has come in handy quite a bit. So I probably will be keeping it in there, and probably just leaving it as it is, but I might want to have another salvage. Even though, if memory serves me right right now, the Celica is a re retrieve, so you do have the retrieve power capabilities in the deck, so it's not really needed. Anyways, guys, uh, I do apologize for the, some of the proxies. Um, they, As I said, they are coming through, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will be doing more videos soon on the fights, uh, the Way Schwartz battles. Uh, I have just been a little tired uh, late. Um, and busy lately so I can't really upload the rest of the stuff but as soon as I can I will be doing those with Matt and we will be getting through them all so guys I hope you enjoyed this and please uh, comment like subscribe uh, whatever because the giveaway is happening oh wait maybe the giveaway is done by now maybe it depends on when I upload this but anyways uh, guys uh, yeah comment like subscribe do whatever you want uh, it helps a lot if you subscribe though and I hope you guys enjoy this. Please stay tuned. This has been Tony from Team Divine Pro signing off.